started here with baseball, the rematch of that tremendous College World Series championship series in Omaha. And the first pitch from Leiter is high for a ball to Jordan Wagu. And gets him those balls tailing to the right. 3-2 once again is a chopper up the middle, charging hard, shortstop throws on the run. Big stretch over at first in time. Not an easy play. Rio has it to 3-1. High with that fastball, ball four. So the leadoff or the one-out walk issue to Franklin. 3-1, misses high, back-to-back -back walks issued by Leiter. First and second, one down here for the Wolverines. Settled. One-two runners go as a called strike, throw to third, and he is in time. Had to wait to make sure he held on to the baseball and the Commodores get a strike them out, throw them out double play to get out of it. It was a nice throw from Keegan. It looked like Nolan was a little bit spooked. It kind of took a little bit time to get there, but might have thought that that left hand got in there. And take a look here. Yeah, that's See, a I... tough, tough shot. They were going to be very, very tight on the strikes or not. That pitch was clearly out of the zone for ball four. So the Commodores have their first base runner on the walk issued to Hogan. Sometimes you catch the. I'll say it a few games. It might have been back in 2012. Fly ball popped up on the infield. That's the first baseman Schmidt with the wind blowing that back towards second. He stayed with it, hauled it in for the second. He tracked basically pitch by pitch. 1-0 was hit into the air to right field. Long run for Bullock coming in, still coming in, but he'll get there in time to make the catch. Three fly balls out, uh, outs for the Commodores, and with the wall count now, one and two, and the pitch, fastball, and holding on to the foul tip is Keegan. Just put a fastball up in his eyes, so the second strikeout for Pro Deal. Right. 2-1 is a soft liner, and it's just over the outstretched glove. Of Young, it's short, and we have our first base hit of the day on a one-out single by Donovan. Runner goes in the 3-1. Fastball is low for ball four. So for the second consecutive inning, after registering the first out, back-to-back -back base runners for the 2-2. Two -two. Beautiful breaking ball for strike three. What a great. The 0-1. Line down the right field line, and that ball is fair. Around third, heading home is Donovan. Schmidt around third. They'll wave him, too. The throw comes in to the plate, and it is not in time. The number nine hitter in the order comes through with a two-run double with two outs. And the Wolverines grab an early 2-0 advantage. It looked like this ball was just left up a little bit in the zone. Pretty far inside, kept his hands in. Bertram able to smack it down the right field corner. A close play at the plate, but able to slide in there with that left hand. Michigan. And the pitch. Swing and a miss at the high fastball. Foul tip. Keegan hangs on. Three strikeouts in the inning, but Michigan gets on the board with a two run double by Ryan Malloy and Nolan scheduled. Foul, a swing and a foul tip, I believe, into the mitt of Donovan. And Jones goes down quickly on three. Eyes in front of him. So excited to see what he can do this year. One, two is a called strike three on the inside corner. Henry Lloyd tried to move back, thought it was inside. Prevalent, but with the amount of stats that these guys have on each other. There's a base hit. Going the other way, and Nolan with a two-out single. Yeah, we saw it last year, even it shifts like hitter strikeouts. Runner goes again, and there's a breaking ball, and that one, I believe they called a balk. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, because that was a strike. <laughs> they called a balk on that. So Nolan gets the second base. And I didn't really get a good look at it. I think, I think he didn't come set. Yeah. I think it did look a little bit fast. Now the 3-2 again. And that one missed inside for ball four. I tell you, it goes into the book just as a basic base on balls, but that was a tremendous at-bat by mm -hmm. Rodriguez. 
Now the 0-1. Into the air, right center field, playable for Jesse Franklin, who makes the catch to retire the side. So the Commodores strand a couple of runners. And as we are now with finished two innings, it's Michigan 2 the chosen one. to be the one to do it. To yeah. be the chosen mm -hmm. one. And his breaking of the color barrier wasn't just a part of the civil rights movement. It was the beginning of the civil rights That's right. And, and he would tell you about it, too. He wasn't bashful about telling you about it. But he was so gifted. He was so, so tremendously talented. I think we got a strike out there to end the inning. I tell you, what, you want right. to be your favorite baseball player the rest of your life. Right. For me, it was Henry Aaron. Yep. And so, in my mind, there will never be a baseball player better than Henry Aaron. In my mind, even if he's better yeah. than Henry Aaron, <laughs> he won't be better at all. And really, that's the spirit that you see at the Negro Leagues Museum. There's nothing sad or somber about this story. Mm -hmm. This is a celebration, and we treat him. David is gone. Mm -hmm. And I said, gone when? He said, David just passed. And I mean, I'm in disbelief. I, it is still surreal. So, so are we. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. it is still, yeah, one day after having talked, we were talking about Negro Leagues Conference mm -hmm. and this whole nine yards. And so, but John and I were determined that we would not let David's vision die. It had to live on. But I think we have the best baseball history museum anywhere in the world, and that is with no disrespect to my friends in Cooperstown, New York, <laughs> at that hollow hall called the National Baseball Hall of Fame. It's a wonderful place if you like stuff. If you like stuff, you can't go to a better period. Yes, yes. yes. And because and, 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 that's the way what we try to do is help them understand that these guys who played in the Negro League could have played in any league. The Negro League Museum now has developed with this great university here in Vanderbilt, uh, the memory of David Williams, everybody, Music City Baseball, everybody who's been so gracious to us and supporting us, and hopefully this is the first of many years to come. Well, the Commodores just scored on a uh, swing. Highly touted out of high school. Yep, there's another walk, and the ball gets away, but not far enough for Dominic Keegan to advance. Keegan was the one that had the swinging strike three, but it got back to the screen, and as a result, one for 15 at the plate. Little flare here into the right field side of the infield. First baseman Schmidt shading his eyes and makes the catch to retire the side. But the Commodores do get one run. Now the 2 1. Ground ball slowly hit. Charging is the shortstop blogger and bobbled it. Came up throwing. I don't think he got him and he didn't. He scooped it, but it popped out of the glove. He caught it cleanly the second time and threw on the run. But right. Tim Corman puts on the bunt. It really depends on how he, what he trusts the batter to do. Like right. it. Exactly. <laughs> Ray makes a big turn, then throws the brakes on and stops. That was a solid single to center field by Dominic Keegan. That's one of the hardest hits. More selective with those pitches. There's a base hit to left. Ray will try to make the turn. They'll wave him home without a throw. Jones finally got one he could deal with. Hit it in the hole between short and third, and we're tied. That was a heck of an adjustment by Jones. As I mentioned, he's been swinging through those pitches that are away. Run at second base. Ground ball could be two. Shortstop Blomgren flips. Not a great flip, and the throw is just in time. It was a heck of a turn. Sure was. By Bertram, the second baseman. Hits this one into the air to right center field and playable for Franklin, who makes the catch. But the Commodores have pulled even. They put together a couple of hits along with. Fourths are half of the way to the pitcher's mound. Very tough to pick up. Line drive, base hit. Commodores had the shift on, and as a result, he took it the opposite way. And the go-ahead run is aboard here to lead things off in the ninth. One, two, breaking ball, swing and a miss. It's down. They'll throw down to second and not in time. The runner at the plate could not advance first was Aki. A little on edge, a little antsy. Ripped on a one hop. Nice backhanded stop by Jones. Goes to the back. Advancing to third is Blomgren right there with two down. But with the amount. Two, one. One hopper knocked down by the third baseman Hayes. He'll throw across, but not in time. And Michigan grabs a 3-2 lead. Hard hit one hopper. Hayes got in front of it, blocked it with the chest, but then it bounced just far enough away to the right where he couldn't make the throw in time. Yeah, it looked like it was hit off the end of the bag. 
Just kind of hooking down. Wasn't able to scoop it. So had to just block it up and didn't go in front of him. Unfortunate for the Commodores. Runner goes on the 3-2, called strike three. Elliott started to first instead of to make a 90-degree turn. A whole lot of use. No. Ground Unless ball is going to be a tough play. Diving stops, second baseman up and throws, not in time. Good effort by Bertram, but the ball was hit with enough pace and far enough away where... Ryan and, and he swings one. away. You would have <laughs> lost the money. Coming in is Franklin. He'll make the catch one down. 3-1. Into the gap in right center. On the move is Franklin. He'll get there and make the catch. Trotting back is McKenzie. Two down. Ball was straight. Popped him up. Shortstop Blomgren says he has it. And he does. And the Michigan Wolverines have won the inaugural David Williams Fall Classic by a final score of 3-2. to two. It was a real pitcher's battle, Andrew Harris. 3-2 final score.